if you're having a major home renovation done, you need to do your research and choose your contractor carefully. You should also never pay too much money in advance. If you do, the company could leave before the job is done. Here's Pat Foran and Consumer Alert. Pat. Nathan and Michelle, a Toronto senior wanted to build her dream kitchen and she called a company that left a brochure in her mailbox. The contractor wanted payments up front and while some work was done, when he got the final payment, he never came back. Like he put message, he will give me a dream kitchen. Mary Austin has lived in this Toronto home for the past 20 years. She always wanted a larger kitchen. So when a contractor left information in her mailbox saying he did kitchen renovations, she contacted the company. He asked for $18,000 up front, but only started the work seven months later. Austin says he was constantly asking for more money. It was 5000 then 25000 then 16000 uh, uh, Austin then found out the contractors who were actually doing the work were not being paid. Eventually, everyone quit. In total, she gave the rental company $107,000. I made a mistake, but I, a big mistake cost me so much money. I borrowed money that I have to pay interest on. The contractor said this kitchen would be done by Christmas of 2021, but after he got his last installment check of almost $20,000, he never came back. And that was over a year ago. Austin says the contractor had her convinced the kitchen would be completed, so she went out and bought new appliances. But her new fridge, stove and dishwasher have been sitting unused since last year. I feel depressed. I feel cheated. I feel like I'm a, like, like I'm a fool. I should not have trusted that guy. The company she hired is Ontario Certified Contractors and Builders, Inc. On the contract she signed, the contractor put only his first name, Bill. We emailed the company and called them several times. Can you let us know are you going to finish the job or give Mary her money back? Our calls and emails were not returned and after we tried to contact the company, their website was taken down. Austin doesn't have the money to finish her dream kitchen and now isn't sure what she's going to do. I can't sell it. I can't do anything about it like that. I can't live like that. I would like at least part of my money back. And if you're having renovations done, don't pay too much in advance. Research the company carefully and make sure you know their physical address. It's best in the contract to include a payment schedule so you only pay for work as it's completed. On your side, I'm Pat Foran.